I've never been to a bike run like this before, ever. This is insane. Let's go! The baby on a stick. You guys got it, let's go! <laughs> Hi, my name is Ian and I'm a gearhead with Competitive Cyclists. We are here in hot, very hot Tulsa, Oklahoma for the Tulsa Tough. We are here supporting our partner, Legion of Los Angeles. Uh, we're their official merge partner. We'll have a tent set up. We'll be following them around at the races and uh, we'll be seeing how they engage the community. Yeah, so Legion is a really cool team uh, because they engage the community. Not only are they making it more inclusive for uh, riders to get into the peloton, but they're also making it more inclusive from a community or spectator standpoint. Um, starting with the, the riding, um, everyone knows that a bike, a crit racing bike, is an expensive piece of equipment and it can be prohibitive. Uh, but when you have, you know, specialized, partnering up with people in teams like Legion, uh, competitive cyclists, we're partnering up with them as well. Like some of these communities may not have uh, the best bike shops in the world, but you can call the gearhead at our company and, you know, we can help you equip your bike or find the right stuff that you need. So they're really encouraging that for, for riders to get into um, racing and, and getting a bike and finding other people to go ride with and, and making cycling cool. Before every race, um, you'll see that they post up like where they're going to be on their social media channels and you can go out and ride with them. Like, we always go to all the expos, so like in any of the big races, you'll see us out there, they got merch and, and gear and you can rep your riders. They come over to our tent and we'll announce that to, um, you know, people through our social media channels and they, they will as well and you can come over get uh, you know signatures with the riders they got flags and hats and just all kinds of cool stuff stuff that you've never really seen in the American Pro crit series like this is really unique <laughs> biggest goal of it is to create multiple platforms for, for opportunity, right? The more of that we can kind of control and develop, the more of it, the more opportunity we can give to like a variety of people. It's not one of those things where we're tolerating the whole like, let us use you to like further like our shit. We're like, no, like you guys can be a part of the journey. And, like that's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm definitely trying to do something similar with basketball. Like I played growing up yeah. in high school, like trying to create that scene. There was a spot in South Tulsa called Champions where like all our AAU, MA wife, all the leagues was at, but it's been going for like 12 years. Uh -huh. and so we don't have like a hub anymore. So, man, it was an honor to be tied to y'all in oh, man. any capacity. So And the same, yeah. and the same with what you guys are doing. It's like, oh, we're super proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And you know it's crazy because some of the fans, like I'm, I'm new to it, but yeah. it's everybody's like this. They're super over, they're over yeah, yeah. the barriers. How do you feel about that? Like, y'all hate, y'all, y'all love, love that? Love it. Yeah. Yo, cause y'all be coming by and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and step back. Y'all, y'all got it. Dude have so much confidence. He's like, don't even worry about it. When the lights go on and the race is on, when the I'm lights get even, bright, huh? It don't exactly. matter. Some, some people shy away from that, bro. Not us. So, so the Blue Dome District of Tulsa, uh, the race was a six corner crit. It kind of looks like a figure eight. I mean, the riders never cross paths, but um, there were turns right and left, which is um, 
pretty unique for a, a crit race. A lot of the times you'll see him right turn crits, but this one had a variety of turns and it was relatively flat and it was very technical. And the Legion riders uh, were able to really control that group on the first day just because they have a super strong train and um, it really benefited them in the end. Um, you could see them sort of just controlling the race. A couple people would try to go, but on the first day, everybody was kind of respecting Legion and was allowing them to do their thing. I mean, they telegraphed what they were gonna do the entire time. It was gonna be a sprint and it was gonna be Corey, but um, Corey went for it and it happened to be Ty Magner that had the straightaway into the finish and he just, I mean, it was a easy victory for him. I mean, I'm sure he was very tired, but he, he had, bike lengths uh, between him and was able to post up for the finish so it was exciting for sure so yeah for the women's race the rest of the women riders were really just trying to hang on to legion you could tell that legion you know they, they were just navigating the corners better than any other team and were able to stay on the front there, there's some cool commentary about when sky schneider was picked out as the rider to win the race was about halfway through. She said she was nervous about it, but it didn't seem that way. She was just in total control, and when the time to sprint came, they got up the, up the road in the train, spread the field out completely, and she had a perfect lead out to the win. Yeah, so day two was the Tulsa Arts District crit. This race had a lot more course elevation changes. Uh, there was also a lot more wind when it came around to the pro races. Um, a lot of the races earlier on in the day, um, there wasn't quite as much wind, um, but on the, the end of the day when the, when the pros raced, the pros women and the men, um, the wind really started to kick up, which definitely affected the race. The women's race was first and they were they were obviously the strongest team in the field again. It was pretty clear that, that Sky was probably gonna be uh, the rider, Sky Schneider, that they, they wanted to win. And she took a flyer and she was off the front for a little bit, but a couple of other teams definitely had to bring that back. Legion kind of went off the front and let her go. And it just, I mean, those teams were just dead when it came around to the final lap. And yeah, I mean, Legion let it out for the next two laps and then Sky was just I mean, she won easily. And then for the men's race, uh, it was it was hot out there. Uh, like I said, it was very windy, and that started to uh, affect the course quite a bit. Um, the, the so they were going downhill and they were getting a headwind, so they weren't really able to attack on the climb and consolidate on that attack going down the hill. Like I said, the first day they were just controlling the front of the group. Nobody really even tried to compete with Legion on the first day, but on the second day, you could tell the men's teams were not having it anymore. They were like, we've got to do something. We can't just let them control the entire time. And they started attacking. It kind of seemed like it was the entire field against Legion. And in the end, um, it was Best Buddies Racing, who's also a really, really strong team. They have uh, another favorite um, in all these crit races to win. Two laps to go, they attacked and there was just nothing Legion can do. It was kind of Crazy to see, but I mean, you know, you could tell they were human. Tough day for Legion, but um, Ty Magner held in there really, really strong. He came in for fourth place and was able to hold on to the overall lead. Ladies and gentlemen, after two days, there's your top three. We are going to the River Parks crit for Tulsa Tough. Day number three, Crybaby Hill. It's gonna be wild. <laughs> Let's go! Baby on a stick. You guys got it, let's go! <laughs> We're showing up for some of the lower level races and then we will see the pro women and the pro men. Let's go! Let's go! What's it like normally and what's it like today? This is a very sleepy neighborhood. Okay. And nothing ever really happens in this neighborhood, which is, you know, I guess it's okay until today. <laughs> and today, what comes into our neighborhood is a cross between Burning Man and Sturgis and 
Mardi Gras, and it's more fun than I can imagine. Oh, man, I'm we excited. Have a ball. Oh, that's great. We have great. a ball, and we're happy to serve anyone who wants to come by. Well, thank you. Anyone of good cheer. You guys are of good cheer, aren't you? Uh, yeah, yeah, very good everybody, cheer. Everybody very good cheer. Good cheer gets to eat, <laughs> eat whatever we have. I couldn't dial up a little fun, so I had to dial, dial up, up a lot. <laughs> On a hot day, when you're watching a crit, we got a pro tip for you. The, the riders will do, do pantyhose with ice. We, we do with the, the hats here. Get a hat. Some ice in there. A little rally cap. You gotta... Oh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Well, that's nice. finish up with day three of Tulsa Tough in the River Parks District and uh, it's been a wild race. It was a very tough race. The, the Crybaby Hill climb was very tough but the real story of the day is the heat. It was just oppressive and when the races started they always finished with a third of the people that they started with so it was just incredible. Um, in the women's race they really controlled the front the I wasn't time. With them. Ooh, and um, then Sky Schneider at the end just just took the win. She was really strong. They were working for Kendall Ryan trying to get her the win, but when the when the heat hits you, you have no idea how your body's going to react. And Sky was just on it today, so she went three for three and, and won the overall, which was really cool. Um, in the men's race, it was somewhat similar to today too. A lot of teams started attacking um, Legion, and Legion were trying to hold the front, trying to bring him back. But eventually, there was one rider that was way out in the front, 20, 30 seconds at one point. Eventually, got brought back. But then Best Buddies took over the front of the field at the end. And ultimately, Luke Lamperti, the uh, current uh, current national champion, just walked away with the win. He looks like he attacked on the backside of the course, came down that uh, last uh, hill really fast, and he was able to post up for the win. So overall, it was just a really exciting end to the race, uh, end to the races, but a uh, really hot day. And uh, the riders all did a really good job out here performing for us. But um, yeah, Pulse of Tough was, was awesome and we really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we will be in Salt Lake City next, uh, come mid-July, and we'll be following Legion around there. So please come out and see us.